Hey, what's up guys? I had a good question on my Facebook that I thought would be a good topic for a video that I haven't really discussed before. And uh, this question was from Vaughn Strachan. Sorry if I butchered your name. He says, can you talk about how you fit alcohol into your bodybuilding lifestyle? Do you alter your diet when you plan on drinking? How is your physique affected the next morning? I thought it was a good question that I'll give you, you know, my opinion on. And I think a lot of these questions sometimes come up when people on my face, if any of you guys are on my Facebook, you definitely see that uh, I post pictures up, you know, out on weekends, stuff like that. Summertime, I was just out at the lake last weekend um, for 4th of July. So of course, yeah, I was pretty much drinking, you know, a lot all weekend and stuff like that. I like uh, social drinking with friends. That's just something that I've like always, um, I guess, fitted into my bodybuilding lifestyle. And I know a lot of bodybuilders are total, you know, anti-alcohol, don't touch alcohol all year and stuff like that. And that's fine. Everybody kind of has their own beliefs and, and how they want to, you know, go into the sport. If you want to be the hardcore type that doesn't touch processed foods and doesn't drink alcohol and all that stuff, hey, that's... That's your life, but me, I think I'm probably one of the most laxed bodybuilders you'll probably ever come across as far as like how I, especially during off season guys, I kind of, I'm really good at, at flipping a switch between off season mode and then I flip another switch when I get back into contest, mode, uh, contest prep mode. But when I'm in off season mode, um, especially being a single guy, I, I think that's another big factor is being a single guy. Uh, I definitely love, I love like uh, going out to like social events, uh, bars, whatever, going out to the lake with friends, having drinks. And, and me personally, I don't uh, alter my diet. I don't um, count the macros of the alcohol. Guys, to me, bodybuilding is a hobby. Even though I'm now, you know, a natural pro, whatever, nothing changes for me. This still, to me, is a, a hobby. And for me, I just, I value living life, having fun, you know, being with friends, all that stuff, to me, is more important than my bodybuilding hobby. That's just my thing. I, I love doing bodybuilding kind of on the side. You know, I love training, all that stuff, but that's not, it's not what defines me. Um, you know, I want my, your friends and family and, and things like that, the people that are gonna be there for you the rest of your life. Bodybuilding isn't something that's gonna be there forever, you know? So I value like going out with friends and, and making lasting memories and all that stuff. Um, I do know a lot of people that uh, or a lot more, you know, that they literally like track. If you're probably only having maybe like, you know, two or three drinks or something like that, tops, awesome. Yeah, it's pretty easy to, you can go into My Fitness Pal and put in like, you know, if you were just to have like a vodka soda, you could just track the, the one ounce of uh, vodka, which I think is like 60 calories or something like that. So yeah, you can get a lot of technical if you really wanted to, I don't know people that actually fit, you know, alcohol and their macros, and especially obviously, I think if you were in a, in a fat loss phase, that's something that would be a lot more important for that person. But for me, like I said, in off-season mode, guys, when I know I'm not gonna be competing for the next year to possibly two years, I honestly don't see the problem in having drinks from time to time. I usually only drink, um, I'd probably say like twice max a week, and it's usually only like once a week. And I'm usually, I say usually, uh, a person that just, uh, even though I'm drinking, I only have you know, maybe maybe a couple drinks, something like that. I never really get, you know, I'm not in college anymore. I don't really get wasted anymore unless it's kind of a special occasion and it just ends up happening. People buying you shots and all that stuff. It just sometimes is, it just happens. But uh, for the most part, I'm usually always the one that is always composed. People can't even tell. Uh, they are, are you drunk, Colin? I'm like, no, just, you know, I'm just chilling, just having a couple drinks. So, and as far as like, uh, yeah, I think the last question, can I see a difference in my physique the next day? I think when a lot of people notice when they're dehydrated from drinking the night before, 
I think they look a little bit drier because you're dehydrated, but I, honestly, I don't even, I honestly don't even notice. Like I said, I don't even care. The only, honestly, the biggest reason why nowadays I don't really drink as much, guys, is I'm, I'm 31. I don't know about any of you guys, but any other of you guys, but man, every single year you get older, is it me or is it that much harder to recover from a night of drinking? I, I literally feel, even if I go out and have like, a couple drinks I still like I feel it the next day and it like actually like kind of takes a hit on me I'm like holy crap so that's another reason why I usually try to uh, stay away from getting like too too drunk and things like that or have too many drinks because I know if I go out and I get really really hammered on a, on a Friday night or Saturday night I'm gonna be a pile of just crap the next day don't count on me to do anything I'm literally planning on a couch I'll usually order a pizza or something like that to get my to get my calories in so uh and i will say too guys a lot of you i know a lot of you younger guys it's funny a lot of you younger guys stress this more than i do and you guys are just you know getting started into this you know when i was when i was in college uh all the way before i even did my very first bodybuilding show i literally was able to build you know a physique that most of you i would honestly think that would you know really admire by honestly literally freaking binge drinking like every single weekend almost like friday and saturday and doing that like year after year after year but still always like you know training hard and stuff like that during the week so it definitely is it's definitely attainable to be able to build uh, a great physique you know as long as your diet for the most part is is on track even though i never had done a diet until i was like 27 but uh just saying guys like don't don't let bodybuilding like take over your whole life where you're missing out on social events and like going out and like getting a chance to like meet women and all that stuff guys i promise you like it's more important to live life have fun enjoy time with your friends even if it means having a couple drinks guys anyway so that's my take on alcohol and bodybuilding hope you guys enjoyed this video take care